Hello, welcome to Hostify. My name is Alex, and today we're looking at the Ubiquiti UISP horn. This one goes head to head with the devices from RF Elements. So they've been producing this sort of horn style antenna for a very long time now, and they produce some very good products. However, Ubiquiti have entered the market and decided to launch their own device. So we've got the UISP horn, and it can be used with other connectorized devices, such as the Rocket Prism 5AC, the LTU Rocket, and other devices that use the same connectors. So it's a five gigahertz antenna, uh, it's sort of a horn style shape. So what that generally means is that the uh, horizontal and vertical polarity is gonna be very equal in terms of gain and their coverage patterns. So uh, in terms of like traditional sectors, the typically the, the antenna pattern is quite a wide antenna uh, array. And then, the, but the actual, the height of that array is quite narrow usually. So you have to angle it down if you're on the top of a mountain or a hill. Uh, however, with the, the horn antennas, uh, and I'd imagine the uh, UISP horn is very much the same way as the RF element antennas. It's just such a, such a uniform shape, sort of like a ball shape. Uh, and no matter where you angle it, everyone's going to get the same equal uh, coverage. So we'll have a quick look at what's inside the box. So we've got some styrofoam and some manuals there. So we've got a few things. We've got the back plate here. So this is where the antenna goes, sort of the rocket uh, LTU goes inside. And we've got some release buttons here. There's sort of a waveguide on the back there. So that, that connects with the horn itself. So we'll put that to the side. Got some mounting brackets here. So quite chunky looking mounting brackets, as well as this sort of back piece. Got some Allen keys and some bolts. A bit more cardboard that sort of folds out the way, quite nicely designed. And then the UISP horn is right inside there. It's got a little handle to leave it out. So I don't think there's anything else in there now. So no, we can chuck that to the side. So we've got the horn itself. Got some plastic on the front there. Quite a chunky device. I think you've actually done quite a nice, quite a nice job with that actually. So we've got a shiny surface on the front there. And on the back there, we've got the waveguide where the, this connectorized thing connects to. So let's have a look at what that looks like to use. So I'd imagine, it sort of locks in place somehow. Oh yeah, there's a little guide on the side there. So that's very well made. I'll, I'll give them that. This bracket here looks really chunky. So we're going to get a Rocket LTU and see what that looks like in the back just now. So I've got my Rocket LTU here. I'm going to remove the black little covers. So one is for GPS, the middle of the gold one. And the two are the left and right channels. So let's pop that in there. There is there is provisions for all three all three ports here. So first thing to do is to drop it in like that. Right, there we go. So you have to put it in angled angled first. I'm not entirely sure how the GPS portion works. I know in the RF element devices, the GPS cover lives on the top. Maybe there's GPS built into this device. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just looking at some specs online right now. Uh, it says not to use, not to place the antenna on its front, like that, because it could crack. So we always have to put it on its side. Uh, it's also a 30 degree antenna. It's sort of the best, best of both worlds, a 30 degree antenna. You get a lot of gain and then also some good coverage. So you have said it's a, as I said, a 30 degree antenna, IPX6 weatherproof. Uh, it's got 19.5 dBi of gain. That's about a dB more than RF elements equivalent. Uh, it also supports 5.1 gigahertz, 6.8 gigahertz. Uh, which leaves it some room for future future devices, and as of right now, uh, it's got. As of right now, it's sold out in the UK, but it's about two hundred and forty pounds if you get it from the UK store. It's probably about one ninety nine in the US. Uh, so you can mount it on either side of the pole. So got it's got provisioning for that uh, bracket on that side, but you can move it to the other side if you want to. If you're mounting on the left or the right, which has got a good feature. And there's no word on whether this bit here includes GPS, but I would pretty much imagine it does. Uh, the LT rocket does come with a GPS receiver, but there is nowhere to plug it in. So I'd imagine that that is probably the case. Uh, so this is also compatible with the Airfiber 5X, uh, this LT rocket, and also, as I mentioned, the Rocket Prism 5AC. So let's have a look how to mount it to a pole. So first thing to do is put the bolt through this side, so it matches up with the cube, sort of square shape that's in there. And we can pop it through like that. setting pretty okay so next thing to do is undo this piece here 
So this included Allen keys with it. So let's take that bolt out for a sec. And then what we can do is slot that piece in there like so. So we can now angle the, the antenna where we want it to point. And then once we've got it locked off, so let's point it there, we can then do up this, this piece here a bit more. And that shouldn't move after that. That's pretty much locked off now. We've got a degree reading this there. Uh, that's pretty much it. So obviously you connect the power to the LTE device and you're pretty much ready to go. Okay, thank you for watching this video about the UISP horn. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. We do hosting for UISP, Unify, NC Plink Armada. You can hire an engineer to help with your project at Hostify Pro. Check out the website at hostify.com forward slash pro and hire an engineer today. If you want any help with your Hostify server, contact our team at support at hostify.com and someone will be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Alex and we'll see you again next time.